through the flags, um, but she didn't look like she was looking out to the side at all. And now we've got Zara Tindall away on class affair. So this is obviously a very experienced horse, and they're oh they're actually lying in second at the moment. Yeah, so Zara Tindall on that score of 33.3, that all important clear in the show jumping. Class affair owned by Gleedhouse Stud Limited could go to the top of the three-phase leaderboard above Cooley Snapchat and Selena Milne, so it's a round we will watch with interest. Molly Summerland, you are right, Felicity. Flow 7 inside scores just the confirmed. Time. The first horse inside the time today, and it looked effortless. 6 minutes, 37 seconds. That optimum time, 6 minutes. Oh, Steve has lost her back legs there a little bit. Oh, bless her, but good girl to, to keep going. And well done, Steve, as well. Keep riding. Making that turn to that big Dracaena. Hopefully she's going to be brave here. Oh, very neat. Yeah, good girl. Um, yes, that's amazing um, with Flo7 and Molly. I mean, she just tells me all the time he is so fast. So how can a dressage horse go that fast? And she says, I don't know. <laughs> it's a mystery. So back with their class affair, Zara Tindall. Yeah, Zara getting her elbows out there, making it happen. Or she ran well in Kentucky. That five star out in America. Yeah, he did. He ran really well there. And I remember her saying that, you know, they hadn't had very much prep at all um, going out there. So I think she was chuffed to, um, to go around and jump clear with him there. So I think he can be a little bit cheeky. I don't think that's any secret. Um, so hopefully he's going to behave himself today. <laughs> Back with the Hagonda and Stephen Hill getting to the last stages oh, of the course. That's such a shame. <sighs> Another glance off for there, Stephen. Interesting enough again at a skinny brush. Yeah, the mayor, the mayor just didn't quite have her eye on it, I didn't think. Um, you know, I don't think Steve did anything wrong at all. Um, she's just, you know, again, inexperienced. The, the more experienced horses will, will come around that corner and they'll be looking for flags. And this mare, perhaps, you know, having gone around three quarters of this course, is maybe just thinking, oh my goodness, this is um, quite a lot to process. Because look, what a good girl, she comes around and pops that second time. And I think that says a lot about a horse's character to have a run out, realize that there is a way out, and then come back around and jump it again. And that was really good from Zara through there. Really nice. You know, this horse um, can be a little bit of a monkey at times, but he's had a good run at Buckalo as well last year. As back with our latest starter, this is very much a young rider on the upward trajectory. Abel Watson coming forward on Aristoteles SZ 35.4, their dressage. Yeah, I think Ibel was quite pleased to get those ice creams out of the way at Prince 3 AB. <gasps> I did see her earlier. She was a little worried about the um, left hand turn, she was saying. Yes. Right, come on, girl. Yeah. Get on. Oh, don't know if she jumped the corner. Hopefully she did. Wow. And we're just hearing, yes, she did. So Ibel is safely over that. Brilliant. Back now at the Womble Bond Dickinson Pond Water Complex. Or oh, Zara Phillips. Zara Phillips? Zara Tyndall. Sorry, Zara Tyndall. <laughs> Thank you very much. Living in the past. <laughs> And she gallops on up the hill now. So let's catch Ibel Watson again. Yeah, she was wondering whether she was going to go on the five or six there, and there was no way she was going to go on six. Whoa! Oh, God. She saw one there as well. Good girl. A nice pat for him. We're back now with Zara Tyndall as she runs on for the speedy beat combination. That's very good. I'm a horse at this sort of five star level, really making this course look effortless. Go out, steer. Very good. So, yeah, I took the flag, but no doubt she was definitely in size um, as far as we could see, anyway. That looked pretty convincing. So, I think she'll be pleased, pleased to have jumped through that and now on to the next one. And Zara there. Now she runs down the hill before and then she'll start the final climb around this track, jumping neatly over the Leeds East Airport takeoff fence. Back in view will be able Watson shortly. Aristoteles SZ, horse that she rode to those Young Rider European Championships to win Team Gold. At Hartbury back in August of last year. Because you're very much a decorated young rider, you you won medals at the European level. 
Yes, um, what do they win? Um, two bron um, a junior team bronze, a young rider bronze, and a young rider gold. So, but, you know, Ibble's now stepping up. I think she's still in young riders, but doing a little bit what I did, um, wanting to get some experience. And, you know, once while well, you've got the horse that can step up to that level, um, make the most of it. So, you know, she's come here to Bramham to get some experience. Um, and, and, yeah, so far, it's looking, looking really good. And Zara Tindall really kicking on for home. What can she do? She was on that score of 33.3, our clubhouse leader, 34.9. So she could be one second over that optimum time, but no more.